Hello, my name is Victoria and today I'm going to show you how to start a blog. Let's go! Starting a blog may help your personal brand or business. It's a great way to express yourself and it can help you get online visibility, connect with your audience and earn extra money. If you're a beginner and don't know where to start, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it. We will go over setting up a blog site and publishing your content. The first step you have to think of is picking your niche. It could be from travel to tech blogs. Find a topic that interests you the most because writing about something you are passionate about will always be more enjoyable than forcing yourself to write about something you are not. Alright, let's pick a web hosting and domain name. Let's go to hostinger.com and pick a hosting plan that fits your needs the best. I'm going to choose premium shared hosting because I'm going to get a free domain and free email with this package. Click select and choose a period. I'm going to keep on 48 months as it gives the best price. And then you will need to fill out your credentials and don't forget to apply a coupon code HA10 to get a 10% discount. Once you finish your checkout, let's go to the next part and set up your hosting. Log into your Hostinger account and what you should see is something similar to this. Click on set up your hosting and start now. Here you will be asked some questions, answer them by your personal preference. When you finish the questions, you will get to choose the platform you want. Today we are creating a blog with WordPress, so select WordPress. Then create your WordPress account by adding an email address and then a password. Once you are done with this step, you will be asked to choose a layout, but for now we can skip this part as we will get back to it. So because I chose premium shared hosting, I got a free domain name, so let's claim one right now. Click select and then type in the domain name you wish to have. If your desired domain name is available, click continue. Here you can see your information and if you want, you can change your server location. I would recommend choosing the one closest to you to enjoy the best performance. Ok, now we have to complete the domain registration. Select your country, then click on the next step and then enter your contact information. I'm going to do this part off screen. And don't forget that your domain name can take up to 24 hours to propagate after registration. Ok, to increase website security and credibility, we need to install SSL certificate. Click on this control panel, then scroll down to SSL in your dashboard and click on it. As you can see, here's my domain. All we have to do is click on install SSL. Just wait a little bit while it's installing and once it's done, you should see the status active. Ok, we've finished setting up your hosting and domain. Let's move on to WordPress. We are going to pick a theme. You can access WordPress dashboard by going into your H panel and clicking on dashboard under the WordPress category. Then click edit website and you will be redirected to the WordPress admin area. Ok, now select appearance and then click themes. Press on add new and here you can see a lot of amazing themes. If you want to narrow down your search, you can filter out the search by subject, features and layout. Also, if you can decide on which theme to choose, check out our video 10 best WordPress themes, which will help you find a cost-effective and high-quality design that matches your branding. Alright, I'm going to pick Astra theme. Once you choose your theme, press install and then activate. Now we can check how it looks and as you can see, it's not really good, so we need to work on that. If you are also using Astra theme, let's do a little trick and import a starter site. This would give us a starting point and help us to edit the theme. Let's go to appearance and then select Astra options. Then here on the side, you will see a starter templates importer. Click on install importer plugin. Then select what type of website you are creating. In this demo video, I'm creating a food block, so I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to choose this one called coffee shop. If you already have your logo, you can upload it here or you can skip this part and upload it later. For now, I'm going to skip it. If you wish, you can select your default colors and font that will represent your blog. Click continue and then finish all the other steps you will be asked to. Let's see how it looks. 
Okay, what you need to do right now is to customize it according to your brand. To do that, click on Customize on the top. Here you can edit all of the design aspects of the website, change header, footer, and so on. Don't be afraid to try out and explore the customization settings by yourself. Now let's move on to the pages. To create a page, click on Pages and then Add New. Here we are going to create our homepage, About and Contact page. So let's start with About page. Add your title and then your information. As I'm creating a blog about food, my information will be about that. If you wish, you can also add a new heading by pressing on the plus icon here and then selecting heading. You can also add all kinds of things like images, quotes, lists, and so on. Don't be afraid to explore this section and be creative. Once you're done creating your page, click publish and go back to your WordPress dashboard. Once you've finished creating your pages, you can delete the sample page because this is the default page and you no longer need it. What we are going to do now is to create categories. Categories are for our blog posts that have a different topic. For example, my blog is about food, so I'm going to create recipes category, cooking tips and so on. So to create them, go to posts and click categories. Okay, so here you can see a default category titled uncategorized. Let's change this one because we can delete it. Press edit and write in the name. I'm going to type in recipes. And then a slug can be the same thing as this part will be displayed in our URL bar. If you need to add more, just type the info here on the left and press add new category. Now I'm going to finish up adding my categories. If you have a category that has subcategories, for example, I have recipes and my subcategories would be desserts, appetizers, snacks, and so on. To add them, other times called child categories, you will need to type in everything as you did before here on the left. But before pressing add new category, select parent category to the one you would like to assign. In my case, desserts would be added to recipes. Do the same with yours as many as you need. Now let's add a menu to the blog. This will help readers to navigate through your website more easily. On your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearances and then Menu. Here give your menu a name. I'm going to write Main Menu and click Create. Here we can add pages that we previously created. So I would like to add all pages that I created in order to be easily accessible for my visitors. Select the ones you want to add by clicking on the checkbox. I also would like to feature my categories, so by clicking on Categories and then View All, I'm going to select the ones that I need. Then click Add to Menu. As you can see, some of the child categories are displayed as primary, so to fix that, all you need to do is move this category a little bit to the side under the primary category. I want my dessert subcategory to be under the recipes, so drag that here and move a little bit to the side. You can rearrange the list by dragging and dropping as you want. Now all we need to select is how we want to display this menu. I'm going to choose the primary menu and then click on save. Let's check how it looks. As you can see, here are the menu that we created and the child categories that I wanted to display. Ok, let's move on to the first blog post. Go ahead and click on posts and add new. Here you can write your post and edit them. I'm going to add a title, my text and then I will add an image to give a more visually engaging content. You can include embeds, widgets and many more other cool stuff. Just play around with all of the blogs that this WordPress text editor offers to find your unique way to publish posts. Ok, now let's select a featured image. Go to settings by clicking on this icon, then select post. Scroll down to the featured image and choose one that fits your content. I'm going to pick this one for now. Now let's choose where do you want to publish your content. Go to the settings and choose post. Here scroll down to the categories and select on what page you would like to see your post. I'm going to select desserts. Once you are done with all of that, you can click preview to check how it looks. And if you are satisfied with your creation, click publish. And that's it. It's really easy process to add your blog post. 
Writing a blog content isn't enough to get people to notice your site. It is important for a website to rank high on search engine result pages. And with SEO, you can increase e-visibility and your blog's chances of getting a steady stream of organic visitors without having to pay for ads. And if you want to learn more about how to increase traffic, check out this video, how to get traffic to your website. So to help you out, there's a really great plugin known for its extensibility called All-in-One SEO. It's a reliable WordPress plugin that provides detailed recommendations for optimizing your SEO strategy and bringing more traffic to your site. So let's install it. Go to your WordPress dashboard and under the plugin section, press Add New. In the search bar, write down All-in-One SEO and then click Install Now on this plugin. Once it finishes installing, press Activate. This plugin has a setup wizard, so if you don't really know what to do, just follow the steps and you will configure your site's SEO settings without the need to hire an expert. And here are the basic first steps of creating a blog. But of course, it's not the end. You need to install plugins to improve your website speed, security, and other features. If you don't know any of them, don't worry, here's a video for you 12 best WordPress plugins. And that's it. Here's how you start your blog. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more tutorials. Bye!